Iron deficiency anemia is the most common type of anemia. It occurs when your body doesn't have enough of the mineral iron and you know that the body needs iron to make hemoglobin. So in homeopathy, we have the potentized iron in the form of ferromet. While speaking of anemia, we expect the patient to be pale. In ferromet, you will find the symptoms are like contradicting each other. This one symptom is very peculiar. You will find that in ferromet, the face is pale, but the face becomes flushed easily. The face becomes red. When there is least pain, the face becomes flushed. When the patient experiences emotions, she can't hide it. The face becomes flushed again. Of course, when there is exertion, the face will surely flush. Another notable symptom you have to watch out is weakness. Here again, there are some contradictions. The patient looks strong, but when the patient walks or talks, she starts feeling weak. One more contradiction, the patient in general feels better by walking about slowly. True to the anemic state, the patient has headache and vertigo. When there is headache, the patient wants to lie down. She cannot eat, she cannot drink. And the vertigo is the patient feels as if on water, as if balancing on water. Palpitation is definitely there. I want to talk about the digestive symptoms of ferromet before I conclude. Because you know, patients are always complaining of digestive complaints, irrespective of their diagnosis. You simply can't not have them. So in ferromet, there is either increased appetite or absolute loss of appetite. No place in between. Another symptom is vomiting. Vomiting immediately after eating. Vomiting after midnight. Now I'm going to move on to the next remedy, natremure. Two locations where you can find lots of symptoms related to anemia in this remedy. Head and the mouth. The headache in schoolgirls who are anemic, think of natremure. The headache is usually during the daytime. You will find this headache around the time of menses. The patient is nauseous and even vomits. Now the mouth. You know that in anemia, you will find glossitis and chelitis. So what are the peculiarities in natremure? Mapped tongue. It means there are patches on the tongue. And there are um, pearl-like eruptions on li lips. There are cracks on tongue, cracks on lips. So much for the appearance, appearance of the mouth. And the sensation part, the patient has numbness and tingling sensation on the tongue. That was the head and mouth. Now let me conclude with few general symptoms. There is palpitation. There is weakness. The patient loses weight even though she is eating well. Natrum is one remedy where you will probably find psychic causes for chronic disease. Maybe grief, fright, anger etc. And the patient even might be depressed.